What's up, guys? This is Pwn Source Rex, and today we're going to be talking about litecoinpool.org, how to attach your miner, how to check the estimated profitability, how to check your actual profitability, and we're going to look about how I did with one single L3 Plus miner over the course of a week. So, make sure to take a second to subscribe, like the video, and let's get started. All right, guys, so here we are at litecoinpool.org, and we are looking right here at the getting started, which is under help. And basically, they have a nice beginner's guide, but they also have the cre create pool account, which you register your account. You know, you go to your email, you check your emails, you go back and forth for a bit until they say you're good, and you create it. You also put in a wallet address to wherever you want your coin to go. They basically take all of the coins that you mine, sell it all so your doge they sell your doge and they pay you out in just litecoin which is kind of nice if you're trying to stack up just litecoin now what you're going to do is you're going to take the stratum server right here according to wherever you are in the world so right here is where i'd be i'm on the u.s east coast and you're going to take that and you're going to go right to your ant miner and you're going to throw it right in the url then you're going to take your username what's really nice about this is they just take your username and do point one point two point three point four and so on and so forth for all your workers so it's very easy and and uh good to do you just go right in put that under your worker name and then you've got your password which is one and you throw it in okay guys so setting up an asic miner on litecoinpool.org is extremely easy that is one of the selling points for this place it's awesome i've also found there uh, payouts to be pretty competitive, or at least they were until this last uprising of Litecoin being twenty two hundred nineteen dollars and five cents. Um, we'll talk about that later in the video, though. So let's go right over here to the um, calculator, and we're going to type in five hundred four, which is the hash rate for one standard L three plus miner that is not overclocked, that is just standard and 800 watts, and you're gonna compute that stuff. So right here, you were gonna make $9.06 USD, or 0 .04, uh, 0.04125284 Litecoin in a 24 hour period. That's what you should make. And of course, if you adjust your energy cost to your place, either the cost will go up or down, and your net profit will go up or down, which is fine. I pay a lot more than this, but that's fine. Um, once you were done with that, that tells you basically how that's going. So now I mined for a week so we could see how they did. Um, and of course, that week, this PPS ratio was higher. Um, so I got paid out a little bit more. Um, but let's take a look. So on the 27th, I made 0 0.06, uh, 0 0.05 on the 28th, 0 0.05 on the 29th, 0 0.05 on the 30th, 0 0.04. 31st, 0 0.04 on the 1st, and 0 0.05 for a total of 0 0.34 over the course of the week, which if we brought up the calculator and we looked at it right now, not that right now really helps, 0.34 times 200, what was it, 19, equals $74.46, um, which I paid about $18 in power, equals $56.46. but. Um, like I said, seventy-four dollars and forty-six cents is not bad for a week of mining, um, and that's nice. That's that's really nice. I'm happy with that for one miner. Um, now let's talk about what I did not like about Litecoin Pool. Litecoin Pool was at three seventy, and then the moment that LTC broke two hundred dollars, it instantly dropped to three fifty. Uh, around the same time. I don't know exactly when it dropped, but it was when it broke 200, it, it went down to 350, which means they're paying you less Litecoin. I found that to be kind of wrong because they're basically keeping your miner mining right around $9, keeping it mining right around $9. And that's kind of shady in my opinion. I think that if Litecoin goes up, they should pay us the same amount of Litecoin and we should just be making more money. Um, we'll see though, uh, if somebody has a better explanation of that, if they could leave it in the comment below or provide me with a link so that I can have some literature to read, that would be greatly appreciated because right now I am just salty about it. Okay. 
So that's pretty much the video I got for you guys. I did pretty well over the course of the week. Uh, upcoming in the next few days, I'm going to have a video comparing Litecoin Pool, NiceHash, F2 Pool, and Poolin because I did a week-long test on all of those, as well as I will be having an F2 pool and a pool-in video um, by themselves, standalone, kind of like this one. So make sure to take a second to subscribe uh, and like the video. And if I don't see you in the comments below, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>